Hello there, I just wanted to quickly make this video to save anybody the hassle that I just went through. So I have a, a Next.js application where I want to upload files or data to my Strapi collection. So my Strapi collection is a, I'm submitting my form to, to a collection type, which is basically just an object with a name, info, status, reason. And I want to upload some media and files by the submission form. So the way that I want to do that is through a form. So on a website, I want to choose some files and then send them. So I'm using Formic here. So you download Formic. The instructions for this are, are on the website too. So you create the Formic ob object and on submit, basically it gives me some values and it if you've mucked around with inputs, you would have noticed that your input, you, if you want to do multiple files, you add multiples, and on change, you, I've done some things here, but anyways, on change, I am uploading my files to a media object, and then anyways, that's getting sent to my on submit turning into values so the main important thing here is if you look at how this guy's explained it you ha it has you have to send it to so mine's going to be lead submission forms you have to send it but again that's changed again because it has to be slash api so it has to be this format here slash api slash your collection type and then you can either do it with just raw json but you can't do raw json and if and a form, so you're going to have to use form data. So your form data has to be in this setting, it has to be data with an object inside of it, and it has to be files and the name of your collection type. So the name of my collection type is yeah, media or files. So the way that I've done this in the code is I've got my values from the input there. Yeah, it's sent it via an event, this is on Next.js by the way, via an event to my on submit, I've now got my media, but you see, so you create an object, that's how you, you create the object, you create a form data object, you loop over your values, and then you add your media to files, this has to be the name of your collection type name, so media, files, image, and then it will loop through appending it to the form data on file it will, it will be appending it on here and then your normal data you can change that and then <clears throat> this is how you get the structure you create a data file like that and then this will be an object with so it'll be data and that object inside of it and then <coughs> you send your request by that. So in the end, this is going to look like, if you looked at it from data, it's going to look like this. This is what you're sending. And then files dot, like whatever your, whatever your file name is, so mine's media. And then it's actually going to be whatever the object is. So that's what, that's what this looks like when you send it. Again. So if you try to add your files to the to this data, it's not going to work. You have to send it in this way. So that'll, that'll save you a lot of time. Um, I've also got my GitHub link here if you want to check this contact file out as well. But it's the same concept. So if you basically try to send your form data, and try to add your your media, so say you try to add this to data not going to work it has to be files dot whatever your name is so it'll save you a lot of time if you well hopefully it saves you a lot of time but you yeah, contact me if you want need any extra advice